It's Halloween time and spooky season continues in Max Toys and Models with Bloodbath, Art the Clown from Trick or Treat Studios. So I'm not entirely sure when this figure will get full release. I know last year in July in America it was in pre-release with a scheduled full release date of November and December. Uh, I'm not sure about this one here because in the back of the box it does say 2022 and I bought it at Comic Con so this one could be an uh, American import. And I know some websites just now have this figure in pre-order. Uh, is it because there's an updated version of this figure? I'm not so sure. So this figure is from Trick or Treat Studios. It's Bloodbath Art the Clown from the Terrifier films. Now this one's quite unique here because it's got bloody colour change in action and what I believe you do is you either put it in the freezer or spray very cold water onto it and it, it brings out the blood all over the figure. So it's very interesting. So you can see the front of the box here, it says Terrifier, Damien Leone's Terrifier. Back of the box, it's got art and various poses, uh, looking very menacing, it's got hacksaw, various other accessories in his bag. If you've seen these films, or films, sorry, they're very gruesome. Um, it does say 2022 here. So looking forward to get this one out and get some water splashed on him. See if he changes colour. It's a bloodbath at the clown. Let's get him out. Right, there he is in his plastic packaging. I need to snap the bands off him just now. He does look terrifying, doesn't he? Uh, if you have seen these films, they're actually horrific. <laughs> so the third one's just released just now in the UK. Uh, I don't know if this one's based in the first film or the second film. Not so sure. Check him out there. Right, let's get him out. Right, there's Art out just now. And I'll bring him up to the camera. You can see his face here. Really nice detail. And the sculpt in his head. He's big grin, his black hat there, his head does move 360. Now these trick or treat figures, there's not a lot of articulation uh, movement in them, it's just usually the arms and the legs and that's about it. Uh, so the arms go around 360 degrees, there's no outward motion, there's no swivel in the hips, uh, just backwards and forwards in the legs, there's no pivot in the shoes, there's no any other bends or joints or ball joints or anything like that. Just Arms, legs, battles and forms and head twist, that is it. That is trick or treat um, studios for you. Uh, but highly detailed, I really like this figure. Cracking looking. I'm just going to bring him to the camera and you can see his uh, fingers as well there. Check them out. He's got fingerless gloves on. Fingers are poking out. He's got a nice black and white paint job on the clown's outfit. Buttons there. Got the right thing going on there. It does look slightly paint's damaged in the back. All of them. It's going to wet them there, but um, in case I get the blood, but it's not freezing cold, so there's a bit of paint damage there in the back. Other than that, it does look a cracking figure. Side on profile, got a hook nose. Very scary. Great for Halloween. So that's Art. We'll put him down. And he does stand his own accord. Uh, stands pretty well indeed without any base or accessories. Right, see what's in this, his rucksack here. So that's his bag. So this just opens up like so. He's enough. So this figure comes with a hacksaw. See that there. It's all one colour. Silver. No blood splatter on it. Hacksaw. It comes with a knife. No blood splatter on it as well. It's just a stainless steel looking colour. Silver. Okay. And it comes with a gun. The gun's the same paint. Uh, job as well, just plain silver. 
not a lot of detail in that to be fair so that's the weapon so art rucksack hacksaw knife and a gun now i assume that these uh, these um, accessories fit in here guns in knives in hacksaw looks like it doesn't it yeah, they'll all fit, all fit in there. That's them all fitted into the bag. His rucksack, and he'll just put it over his shoulder, won't he? How does it work? Put his hand. I can hold it like that, I suppose. So I've just bounced the bag on his uh, hand just now. I'm not sure if it actually fits in here. Pull it a bit thick. Not sure. I'm uh, just gonna fit this one, I suppose. Like that. Looks a bit silly, mind you, but uh, right, we'll, uh, <clears throat> we'll get the accessories out and we'll try and put the gun, uh, or the hacksaw, and the knife in his hand, his hand here. So the gun will be straightforward in his uh, right hand, I would assume. Let's have a look. Just where the fingers break off these fingers. <laughs> no, not at all. That's his gun. That's in fine. Pistol in his hand. But he's more menacing with a, a knife or a hacksaw. Let's have a look. Hacksaw fits perfectly. That's better. What do you think? Right, let's try the knife. I do like this figure, I must admit. I do like it. Get this knife in here. There you go. That's the knife in his right hand. What do you think? So I am just reading at the back of the box here. It says to change bloodbath art, the clown from clean to terrifyingly bloody. Simply spray or submerge in cold water. For best results, use ice water or place figure in freezer for several minutes. Blood effect will disappear as figure warms up. For more immediate results, submerge in warm water. So I'm just going to try this out. I'm going to get a, get a wee cup, get some water, I'm going to put them in it or sprinkle some water and see what this blood effect looks like. Right, we have the Hellfire Club mug from Stranger Things. Let's we'll place that there. Uh, cotton bud. See how this works. Some cold water. Just put that on him there. I assume it's on the right hand side. The right hand side? <laughs> I assume it's on the right hand side where his costume's white. It'll, uh, it'll change red. So far, nothing. Okay, well, there's maybe a tinge. I'm just going to dip them in this. Let's have a look here. Submerging on cold water. Okay. He's upside down in the Hellfire Club cup or mug. Uh, feeling that, I'm going to have to put him in the freezer. <laughs> That's going to work. I don't know. Right, let's bring them out. No. No, we'll put them back in. So, we'll reread the instructions at the back. To change the bloodbath art from, sorry, to change bloodbath art the clown from clean to terrifyingly bloody, simply spray or submerge in cold water, which that is. For best results, use ice water or place figure in freezer for several minutes, which I might have to do next. Blood effect will disappear as figure warms up. Okay, get that point. Uh, for more immediate results, submerge in warm water. Is that to remove the blood stain splashes on his clothing? Just put them into warm water. So that looks about right enough. That's cold water. Let me see. What do you think? Absolutely nothing. And that's cold. <laughs> Is this a coin? This figure was going really well as well. Uh, 
I liked it, and now um, I'm not sure if this is actually working. I thought I seen a tinge of red, but nothing. Right, I'm going to stick them in the freezer, and I'll be right back with these. Right, I need to be quick. I've had them in the fridge freezer for about five minutes. And here he's there. You can see it. It's actually working. I'm going to zoom in. Check him out. You can see the blood splatter on his uh, the white side or the right hand side of his costume. So he's been in the freezer about five minutes, and I know it says if it warms up, it starts to fade. So that looks pretty cool. I mean, that's super cool. In fact, not pretty cool, but super cool. Um, it's his face as well. So it must just be, it's in certain areas of this costume, it, it kind of, it comes on once you, or appears, sorry, as you put it into the, the cold water or the refrigerator or the freezer. Uh, I don't think that water was uh, cold enough for him, but uh, yeah, as I said, they're super cool, it is, because he's actually freezing. <laughs> so I'm glad that's worked, because I thought it was a bit of a gimmick. But well done to Trick or Treat Studios, um, a bit different. Well that's this episode of Max Toys and Models wrapped up for Halloween and I've even managed to get his sack attached to his left hand there and obviously he's warmed up now and the blood has faded, the splatters have gone. So if you like this episode please like the video and subscribe to the channel and I'll see you again in the next episode of Max Toys and Models. Thanks again for watching.